In this example, we're going to look at a logical operator called the Scheffer stroke. Um, this is a logical operator that we're not going to do too much with, except for in this example. But it is something that does exist, so um, let's take a look at it. This is defined to be, so let's start by making a truth table for the Scheffer stroke itself. So we've got our two propositions, P and Q, and there's only two of them, and there's only two of them in any uh, statement that we wish to prove, the logical equivalence that we wish to prove as well. So we'll just make this truth table and then we'll add to it. But we start off with our basic setup here. And then we are told what the truth value is for this Scheffer stroke P vertical line Q, or P bar Q, or however you want to read this. Uh, P stroke Q, I guess. It's called a Scheffer stroke. So, But this is defined to be false when P and Q are both true. So there we go. Put an F right there. And then it's true otherwise, so it's true everywhere else, right? So the, the truth value of this is F, T, T, T. Now, we're asked to show in this example that this Scheffer stroke truth value, this column here, is, or well, that the, that the operation of the Scheffer stroke is logically equivalent to the negation of the conjunction of P and Q. So let's build this one um, by using the definition of logical equivalence, right? So the definition of logical equivalence that we're going to show is that the the biconditional between these two statements is a tautology, all right? So that's what we're going to end up getting to because that's the definition of a logical equivalence. So at this point, we've made the truth table to basically just define the Scheffer stroke of P and Q, so P stroke Q, and now what we need to do is build this second proposition here, right? So let's do it from basic principles. We'll do P and Q. Remember that P and Q is true only when they're both true, right? And it's false otherwise. And we can probably see what's going to happen pretty pretty quickly here, but let's let's work out the entire process here, right? So we can use the definition of logical equivalence. At this point, we want to take the negation of the compound proposition that we just formed. So the negation, remember, just changes the truth values. This ends up being false, true, true, true. All right. And now one interpretation of the logical equivalence is that these two columns are the same, right? Um, that is a consequence, though, of the following fact, which is the definition of the logical equivalence. And that is to say that P, Schiffer stroke Q, biconditional, with not P conjunction Q, P and Q. So this biconditional should be a tautology. Remember the biconditional, the truth values of a biconditional are gonna be true if both uh, the left and the right propositions have the same truth value. So F double arrow F is true. T double arrow T, true, true, true. And at this point we can see, remember when, it, when a so when a proposition has only true truth value, so no matter what, it's always true, then this is called a tautology, right? So this is a tautology, and this is the definition of our logical equivalence, that if the biconditional is a tautology, then we are able to say that those two propositions, those compound propositions, are logically equivalent to one another. All right, and so that's, that's all we have to do on this one.